What you guys got a quick video here for you. People are now starting to finally upgrade to Windows 11 on the Stat Counter website. As you can see on the worldwide stats, you can see Windows 11 is so close to surpassing Windows 10, and it won't be long before that happens. The reason why is because there's been a massive influx of upgrades from Windows 10 to Windows 11 because Microsoft have been pushing the free upgrade to compatible PCs for Windows 11. Over 60 million uh, computers have taken up that offer recently, and that's why it's pushed Windows 11 up so close to Windows 10 now. It won't be long before it will surpass. But one of the things that a lot of people seem to forget is this is the worldwide stats. If you change some of these stats for country and region, you'll see in Asia, it's quite close. Uh, so they're very close and that is a big market. So once they surpass, you will start seeing Windows 11 go flying past uh, Windows 10. Now, if you're wondering what it's like in the United States and the United Kingdom and countries like that, you can try all of those stats and you will see they have already surpassed Windows 10. If we take a look at Europe, it's very uh, wide still because that's the whole of Europe. But if you break it down even more and do it by country, you will see that Windows 11 has surpassed Windows 10 already in a lot of those countries. So let's do, uh, say, for instance, North America. You'll see that that's already surpassed Windows 10 a long time ago. So people that say that Windows 11 isn't so successful, if you break it down by country, you'll see that Windows 11 has actually already surpassed Windows 10 in a lot of those more, I would say, richer countries have already rolled out upgrades to Windows 11 from Windows 10. So you can go through this list. Now, I'm not suggesting that, you know, uh, all these countries are poor. I'm just saying that some of the more uh, less wealthier countries are still on Windows 10. And there is still massive amounts of computers on Windows 10. There's over 700 million around the world yet still stuck on Windows 10. And 240 million plus of these sort of computers are not compatible for Windows 11, according to Microsoft. They're not eligible for a free upgrade because they don't meet the stringent system requirements. So these figures are freely available on the internet. You can go searching around. How accurate they are, I don't know, but they are basically the uh, figures that you can easily find on the internet. Now, if we look at a large country like the United States, you can see already the majority of people have switched over to Windows 11. There's still a lot of Windows 10 users in the United States, but Windows 11 is still the bigger operating system in that country. And you can go through and check some of these and check your own country if it's listed here. But again, like I said, some of the more lesser known countries are going to be still highly on Windows 10 compared to Windows 11. You can see Sweden, pretty wealthy country, already started to transition over into Windows 11. It surpassed Windows 10 already. Let's look at Serbia. I bet you this is lower. And you can see the massive amounts of people still on Windows 10 in Serbia, whereas Windows 11 has, doesn't have as many users. Only 25% are using Windows 11 compared to 68% on Windows 10. So that's what my point is, really. So when you look at the bigger picture and look at the worldwide stats, which we showed at the beginning of the video, Windows 11 is very, very close to surpassing Windows 10 only by a little bit. And we'll see by the next month, it will probably surpass Windows 10. Again, there's still a lot of people that are going to be stuck on Windows 10 and not going to be able to upgrade to Windows 11. And unfortunately, those people will need to either extend their, uh, you know, Windows updates through the ESU, uh, which is going to cost $30 a year uh, for the first year. And that's all we know right now. Or you can upgrade to, say, another operating system like Linux, or you can use something like Android or Fade OS or uh Flex OS, something like that. You can use any of those types of operating systems. There's tons of choice out there. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to upgrade unless you upgrade to Windows 11 as unsupported hardware. But remember, Microsoft might shut the door on that and you could end up having major problems, but it's entirely up to you what you do there. You can see here, Linux hasn't really changed too much 
I know a lot of people thought there was going to be a massive influx of people jumping over to Linux. That's still not too late. That might still happen later on down the line. Once the end of life actually happens for Windows 10, you may see a lot of those people that have old Windows 10 systems that aren't eligible for a free upgrade to Windows 11 because their system doesn't support that operating system, they may be forced to jump ship to something like Linux. And you may see Linux rise in the rankings a little bit. I don't think it's going to be a massive amount, but it might be a few users for them and it may grow a little bit in a f maybe a few percent. Who knows? It might not. And they may just extend the uh, actual updates for windows 10 who knows anyway with that said i think that's going to be about it just a really quick video uh, my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members i really appreciate the support i shall catch you in the very next video or i'll see you on the discord server for a chat links in the video description bye for now